Okay, welcome back to part 5 of my bite size asterisk 1.8 LTS with HD voice and busy lamp field tutorial slash demo slash whatever you want to call it. In this part, well, actually, firstly, if you've not watched parts 1 through 4, I would strongly recommend that you do that before you watch this video. Otherwise, it might not make a lot of sense to you. Um, in this section, we deal with extensions.com. This is where you define all of your extension numbers and all the extension routing stuff, whatever you want to call it. Um, you want to start by creating your empty file. So it's nano slash s asterisk extensions.conf. Whoops. Dot conf. And the first section you want to create is the global section. The next section you want to create is the general section. The general section has some general settings in it. It's not really extension routing syntax but I'm going to pop it in here for all completeness since you should be starting from a empty test bed. Now the only setting that I put in my general section is auto fall through equals yes. Now this may be the default but certainly in older versions of asterisk um, you had to end your uh, extensions with a hang up command and if you didn't then they'd just get stuck in the perpetual of nothingness uh, then they brought in auto fall through and that means you can just run off the end of your extension config and the call will auto fall through which means it will be automatically ended which is great but then they figured that there were lots of asterisk installations out there which had dial plans all set up that didn't work like that so uh, they, they changed it well they didn't change it, they, they made the change and then they allowed it to be switched on and off the next section is the default section this is where all calls that aren't from a registered peer will fall um, mine's going to be empty because this is just a demo and there shouldn't be any calls like that if they're hitting the default context you're doing something wrong the next section is for incoming calls this is one that I always create again in the demo there's not really going to be anything in here I'm afraid now the next section is going to be outgoing calls uh, in here you'll want something like the following underscore nine in fact I'm actually not going to put that in because it's going to break my demo since I'm not going to have any external providers in here the next section you'll want is a phones section which we will populate in a minute The next section you'll want is the internal context. This is where we'll put all the internal extension numbers, i.e. 101, 102, etc. I'm going to populate that in a minute. And the last section is going to be called hints. Hints is the magic section that makes all your BLF stuff work properly. So in the internal context, I'm going to write out the first one. I'm going to pause the video while I do it and then uh, we'll be back. So we'll be right back. Okay, so that's the first very, very oversimplified uh, extension config done. Now if you want, you can copy and 
paste that a couple of times for the other extensions obviously making sure to change the extension number and change the SIP device that it rings so our 102 was Mrs P assistant dash desk phone and 103 was Mr. T boy obviously your real one is going to be a lot more complicated than this and now while we've got those extension numbers in our head this is the magic part that makes uh, the BLF work in the extension config at least oh yeah <laughs> spot today's deliberate mistake up here as well every line must start with extend equals like that can't believe I didn't do that a second ago let's just copy and paste that across all lines hold on ok so deliberate mistake number two is now being tidied up and go back to the hints section so this is where all the magic happens so then equals chevron you want these to match the extension numbers above in the internal context it's 101 comma hint comma and then the sip slash the device name so like so and lastly but not leastly And now just to link everything together in your phones section you'll want to include internal include outgoing oops typing clutch include Uh, no, that's it. What I'm talking about. That's it. You don't need to include the hints or anything like that. That's all the configuration done. So that brings this part to a conclusion, and I'll see you in the next part.